Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome back to another Fallout 4 modding video. Before we begin today, I actually wanted to use this opportunity to give a big shout out and a big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome and you just don't get enough credit. If you're interested in supporting my work directly, whether it's the videos I do here on YouTube or the mods that I'm producing pretty frequently, you can do so using the link down in the description below to support me over on Patreon. Of course, that is completely optional, just a place for donations if you're into that kind of thing, but by no means you need to feel pressure to do so. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the mod, which is why you guys are here. Today, we're checking out a brand new shotgun made by myself and Pig, and this is going to be the Lever Action Shotgun. That's right, the classic from Fallout New Vegas based on the Winchester 1887, as seen in many, many forms of media, most notably the movie Terminator 2 Judgment Day. This is an incredible shotgun that we finally have a really, really good rendition of for Fallout 4. Somehow we just haven't really had one yet. I know Fallout 4 New Vegas is probably going to be working on one at some point, but we don't have it just yet, so now we have something to use in the meantime. Now this is such a cool gun in real life and there's so many places to take inspiration from that we tried to get as much of that crammed into one mod as we possibly could by making a nice standard version of the shotgun but also having a handful of uniques and a handful of attachments that represent it in different forms of media as well. And that's going to have a huge amount of range. We're talking Terminator 2, Far Cry, some bits of Call of Duty, and even Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, in the real world, this weapon is usually chambered in 12 gauge or 10 gauge, but we actually opted for 20 gauge this time around as A, we don't have a ton of 20 gauge options in Fallout 4's scene anyways, and also that's what it was chambered in in New Vegas, so there actually is sort of a precedent for this weapon to be in 20 gauge, at least in the Fallout universe, as that, again, is what it was before. That being said, it didn't feel right making a gun like this not having a proper 12 gauge, so that will be represented by one of the uniques, which actually has a nice western look as well as some cool customization options for the metal, very similar to Red Dead 2. So you heard me right, this is going to require munitions, we try to do a nice balance, I believe the last gun did not require munitions, nor does the next gun, but this one does. That being said, if you do want to use it without munitions, you can of course patch this as you wish to use regular old shotgun shells. In terms of balancing though, this fits very very great if you're using munitions and you are using my gameplay balance tweaks, this is slotted right nicely in between the double barrel and some of the 410 options, so it will be a nice early to mid game shotgun, with some later game versions in the form of the uniques. Now, of course, if you're seeing this gun, you're going to want something to do with Terminator 2. We actually do have that represented in this mod, as most of the shotguns use the standard set of animations, which is just going to be firing and reloading the gun like normal. But if you find a certain unique, which is a nice little callback to Terminator 2, it will actually have flip cock animations in first person, which will allow you to flip the entire gun every time you shoot it. Is that the best option? Eh, probably not, but it's pretty dang fun. And on top of all that, there's just a ton of customization over at the weapons workbench to get even more options in the form of attachments and different aesthetics that you may have seen in different movies, video games, and etc. Now, I did mention those flipcock animations. This thing actually has a full suite of custom animations for not only the regular versions of the gun, but of course, for those flipcock animations as well, because this thing needs custom animations. It is a very, very funky gun where you place the shells is very unique, and so you kind of need that. There's no way to really mess with the model and have it use a side gate. Additionally, this weapon is integrated beautifully into the game. It will spawn out in the world on enemies thanks to levelless injections, and it can be found on Minutemen, trappers in Far Harbor, gunners, and even in shops after level 10. As I mentioned, there are also a couple of uniques that you can find, but we'll talk about those more in detail in a moment in the spoiler section. But with that, I think we've covered all of the basics. So let's go ahead and jump in game and start checking out some of the finer details of this weapon, starting off with its stats. So here we are with a pretty standard full length lever action shotgun. This thing is very, very nice. I have to say I'm super happy with this model. Big thanks to 500 SLR for some of the existing assets on their modders resource. And we went ahead and touched it up and gave it a full suite of new UVs and textures as well as a bunch of new attachments and new accessories and just new meshes in general. So then this thing has a base damage of 35. As always, ignore what it says here. That's because of my perks. It uses 20 gauge from munitions again. You can, of course, swap that out for 12 gauge, but it's not balanced for that, so you'll need to make some other tweaks if you do so. It has a fire rate of 5 since it is lever action, a range of 107, an accuracy of 28, a weight of 9.7 pounds in this configuration, and a value of 80 caps. But of course, all of these can be tweaked with the attachments over at the weapons workbench. But first, let's go ahead and talk about some of those animations. So here we are in game. Let's go ahead and check out the many animations included in this mod. For starters, let's go ahead and just mag dump this thing and so you can see the full reload. Now 
as you can see, a very, very nice Anim set. When it comes to accuracy, this is, of course, a shotgun, and right now it is not configured for the most optimal range, but if you shoot at things, you are going to hit them pretty well. And because it is a shotgun spread, you may even hit more than one target. So, in this case, I actually hit every single target I was aiming for, but sometimes it'll hit stuff around it. It just depends. And you can modify that, of course, with attachments over at the weapons workbench. Now then, of course, we also need to talk about the uniques in this mod, starting off with Frontier Justice. Now, this is going to be a really, really fun one. Possibly one of the most basic uniques we've ever done in terms of legendary effects. This thing is going to be rechambered to 12 gauge, giving it the standard 12 gauge damage of 50 over the base 35. But additionally, it's going to have the mighty legendary effect, which means 25% more damage than that, making this the highest damage shotgun in the base game if you're using my balancing, which I think is really, really cool. Considering the fact that you find this actually over in Nuka World in the Mad Mulligan's Mine, it is going to be a late game shotgun, but since it is manual action, I think that balances it out pretty well. It'll have more damage than the combat shotgun, but it will have less fire rate and of course be manual action with a much longer reload. So I think the balancing on that is just fine. It also comes with a nice brass finish. Something you could do in Red Dead 2 was change out the metals on these, which is something really cool and is actually applied to this. In the weapons workbench, you can change out the colors of like the lever and the receiver and stuff like that. So that's a pretty neat thing. Altogether, we have a nice Western looking 1887 as one of the unique options, but there is more. The second unique, of course, being known as Judgment. This thing does 50% more damage against robots. It has the really cool Terminator configuration with the gigantic loop here on the lever with some cutouts, so it's perfect for flip cocking. It has a darker wood furniture. This one still is in 20 gauge, not much different there, but it also comes with the really, really cool flip cock animations. If you wanna get your hands on this one, you can actually find it over in Haymarket Mall, and it's in the back rooms in one of the hallways which you may recognize as uh, a reference to one of the scenes in Terminator 2 where this weapon gets quite a bit of use. And of course, I can't go to the attachment section just yet because I need to show off those flipcock animations because they're just really, really cool. Now, is the flipcock going to make your overall fire rate technically slower? Yeah. Does that mean less damage output? Sure. But it's really, really cool. So I think it's worth it. Now then, of course, let's talk attachments over at the weapons at workbench. Starting off the receiver section, we've got standard all the way up through advanced and an additional vicious receiver if you want some crazy, crazy damage. Didn't know that that existed. To be honest with you, this is the, the first time I'm seeing that. So thanks, pig. Then we have a barrel section where we have the sawed off barrel, a standard length barrel, and a long barrel, which is actually a pretty good representation of the real life barrel for this weapon way back when. It was actually sold with extremely long barrels. And we also have shielded versions of each of those barrels fitted with a nice heat shield, so you can have some more options there for not only aesthetic but function as well. For stocks, we have a sawed off stock, of course, a full length stock, a sawed off light stock, which is going to be made out of black polymer, as well as a black full length stock, which is made out of polymer as well. These are going to be nice customization options. If you're into that kind of thing, it is a little bit more modern than the wood, but it is nice to have it so you have some different options for how this weapon looks. It looks a lot more like the Far Cry 3 version of this shotgun, which does have a fully black setup, if I remember correctly. Then we have the Bruiser stock, which is going to have a nice big blade attached to the bottom there. As you can see, that's the Nuka World Machete. But it gets even better with the heavy Bruiser stock, which has an even bigger blade that's handmade by myself. Then we have the Gunslinger stock, which has some shell loops for faster reload, and a Marksman stock to give you better aim with scopes. Then, of course, you can change out the types of shells you're using. We've got Junk Shot, Buckshot, Dragon's Breath, Flechettes, Magnum Buckshot, Slugs, Pulse Slugs, and Plasma Slugs. For sights, we have the standard bead sight and a glow version of that sight as well. But we also have more advanced iron sights as well, if you're into that kind of thing. If you want to be able to aim with this a little bit better, say you're using slugs, We've got a nice ring sight that mounts on there with a front attachment. This is actually a sort of based on a design I saw in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. The old one from way back when we were kids, not the new one. That's going to make some of you feel old. Anyways, then we also have the glow version of that ring sight, a micro dot sight, hollow sight, and reflex sight, and of course a short scope as well, which is a little bit more of a vintage look mounted on the side there, but I think it looks quite nice if you want to use this thing with slugs and a long barrel. This is probably something you're going to want to throw on. 
Then we have muzzles. We have the option for no muzzle, a compensator, a spiked compensator, a duck bill choke, a muzzle break, and a really just massive suppressor. By no means did this suppressor need to be that big, but Pig decided, yes, it does. Then we actually have a section for different levers. There's actually a lot of attachments for this thing, despite it being a lever action. We've got the standard lever, a light lever, which is going to be made out of brass, a wrapped lever, which has a nice little bit of leather on the front there. There's a leather wrapped lever. Say that five times fast. And we also have a spiked lever, spiked lever. Dang, I messed myself up with a nice spike on the front there that improves your bash damage. Now, the wrapped lever actually increases your rate of fire, since theoretically you could bash your knuckles against this a lot more without hurting them as much. And finally, we do have an accessory slot, which is probably the most gaudy option in here, which where you can throw on a flashlight, a recon laser, and a VATS targeting module. Does any of this belong on a vintage 1887? Absolutely not. But if you throw on plastic furniture, the ghost ring sides, and some other options, then maybe it fits pretty well. There's a lot of range in the customization for this gun, so you can kind of do whatever you want with it. It's a pretty cool platform, a really, really cool weapon, and I love giving as many options to the player as possible. So yeah, guys, I think that is pretty much everything in the 1887 mod, also known as the Lever Action Shotgun from Fallout New Vegas. If you're into this weapon and you want to try it out for yourself, it will be linked down in the description below. I'm pretty sure that there is already an Xbox port, so go hog wild with that thing. If you enjoy the mod, don't forget to drop an endorsement and like the video if you enjoyed the video as well. If you'd like to support my work directly, again, you can do so using the link down in the description below for Patreon, but it is completely optional. With that, as always, I really hope you guys enjoy all the stuff I'm doing over here on YouTube and on Nexus, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!